Good day, bear fans, and welcome, coyote fans. You are looking at, I'm almost done with them, the uh, um, pivot, pivot casters on my uh, coyote swap car. Or, pardon me, bear swap car. So, at some point, some of you are going to be asking, how are you tilting the car up like that? And this is how. It's just a one inch angle, a very heavy caster. I think the load rating is 900 pounds, if I remember right. You can see it there. Oh, I thought it set on them. 700 pounds. So, 700 pounds of caster. Now, these are made for rolling across the floor. We're not going to use them for that at all. We're going to use them uh, there to tilt the body up. So um, I've uh, basically got the set screw in place here. You can kind of see it. Um, I'm going to weld around this nut here. And uh, then since you know I've got the threads protected with some tape, it'll, it'll get smoked whenever I weld. I just don't want the spatter getting on the threads. That's the main problem, OK? So I'm going to weld around the nut. That'll tie that nut to this. I've, I've cleaned it with some uh, acetone, get the, get the metal nice and prepped, and I'm just going to weld one, two, three, and, and get it nice and zapped in there. Um, speaking of welding, uh, let's take a look at the extremely nasty welds on this car, which later I will clean up with a grinding wheel. <laughs> but in the meantime, I want you guys to see... I'm not a professional, <laughs> and it's about to show. <laughs> oh, dear God. All right. For example, you just cut my ear. Nothing too serious. Anyways, the main thing is penetration. I wanted nice welds that penetrated deep into the metal. To hold this in place, and I'm gonna take and grind it over it and clean it all up later. But you can see I got oh, Dan Wadurski did my welding on my Coyote swap car, and he did such a lovely job compared to this. I'm just <laughs> all I can say is he tried to train me <laughs> enough to get the job done. I think he did, but um, those are some really nasty looking welds. I'm just gonna grind them down, like I said, and and uh, then I'll re-weld over the top of them and get it nice and cleaned up. But for the moment, I need this beam sealed in place. This is a subframe connector. You can kind of see it. Um, there's a second one about to be welded in over there. And once I'm done with that and my uh, pivot, arm, pivot casters, uh, I'll be able to lift the car up from... I'm going to guess the point is right about here. I'm not sure where exactly. But we'll set screw that thing in place on both sides in the same spot. Put a jack stand under it. And we should be able to tilt this thing up and lift it up off the front casters with uh, very little trouble. Off the front end, rather. So I'll still have jack stands up front, but they will, uh, they'll be there to support the thing when it's resting. And that'll allow me to easily slide the engine and transmission into the car um, repeatedly, which is the, the goal. So um, you have to remember, unlike a normal build of a car, uh, when you start doing something like this, you're in for multiple fittings. Or you're in for some really tight, cramped work around a motor. So anyways... <laughs> 